OutShift. So this week, there's been a ton of really cool announcements. Um, and amongst some of the bigger announcements, like Panoptica that was on stage, um, we've been hearing about this, this, this new brand, OutShift. And inside Cisco, it's a little inside baseball, we had an organization, Emerging Technologies and Incubation, for a long time. And it was rebranded, as you're displaying. <laughs> the yeah. new company, a new group called OutShift. Yes. Um, and it's a great name, it's catchy, and it feels new and innovative. I'm really curious though, what, not just the kind of the purpose of the rebrand, but what are what is Cisco hoping to accomplish by move, moving the direction of like changing how we think about emerging technologies and what we can do for app developers and our customers today? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think the most exciting thing, uh, and actually reason why I joined Cisco um, to be a part of this new OutShift journey, is that Cisco's really intentional and excited about building um, new emerging technologies, but also about building pathways for future customer needs. So, I mean, Cisco is a top global, global company um, and uh, is here to power an inclusive future for all. And I think that inside of that, they recognize that the needs we have today for our customers are different from what's going to be 18 months from now, like we're seeing with generative AI, to five years out with quantum and things like that. Mm -hmm. So they've had this group inside of Cisco for the past few years, emerging technologies and incubation, a little bit of a mouthful, doing really amazing things. <laughs> and it takes time to get those products together. Um, it takes time to develop what, which areas that we want to incubate for, for the future. Um, and at this moment, you know, things kind of crystallized into, okay, now is the time to signal out to our customers into the market that incubation is a core part of how we are looking at the future. So, hence OutShift. Okay. Um, et and I was a department, you know, it's a descriptive department. Sure. Um, but with the brand and with the name, it, it becomes an identity, becomes part of Cisco in an experience for customers, I and mean, that's why we're here. You know, I, I really appreciate how you describe that. It's so often, I think, especially you know, here in the DevNet zone at Cisco Live, and so often when I talk to attendees that are here, um, I was I, I I was a network engineer before I came to Cisco. That was my career. When I talk to folks here, they so often get stuck in the Cisco sells boxes or Cisco yeah. sells products, and I I really enjoy the idea that we can we can on our own kind of disrupt ourselves and say, you know what. The, the organ this group, this organization of emerging technologies and incubation, does great things, but it's so hard. The brand name put that aside for a second, but it's so hard sometimes to articulate to people that, like, we developed this thing and then we sold this box, and it it still reinforces the almost the product by product uh, mindset that customers tend to have. So yeah. I like the idea of shifting to something where it can be almost visual storytelling, like audio, uh, audible storytelling. We're, we're trying to tell you. We're trying to kind of psychologically and subconsciously help you remember that Cisco is about more than the next SKU that you're going to talk to your partner about. It's about something much more than that. That's exactly it. And when we kind of say rebrand, I mean, I kind of said, there's nothing new here. We didn't pick this up as a new identity. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually just really fortunate to look at what was already happening to help crystallize that and then help um, make that really clear for our customers. So there's actually three areas in which the brand is functioning. Like you said, there's the product development, that's the emerging technology space. We're looking at things from cloud native to edge native. Um, we're also looking at AI, of course. We're really excited about that. Absolutely. And then more into the future, we're looking at quantum. The second part of that then is also future customer needs and also new markets. Mm -hmm. So who are tomorrow's customers? What are customers that don't come to Cisco right now because maybe they don't have those networking needs or you know, they're, getting, uh, they're newer to Cisco and don't think of them in these areas? I think, if I could interrupt for a yeah. second, I think that point you just brought up is like the crux of what we are experiencing in events like this is customers or just individuals don't often think about Cisco in, in talking about these things like AI and quantum and other other sorts of emerging technologies, yes. they don't think of us in that in that breath. And a lot of it feels like a lot of what is being done under the auspice of this rebranding is to help make that a little bit more in the front of their minds. Like Cisco has actually been doing a lot of these things for years. You just don't always see it. For years, that's really it. It's been happening for a long time. And sometimes the power of a brand is it can really just be a front door. It can mm -hmm. be a conversation piece. So it was intentional to call it Outshift by Cisco. Um, I had a lot of wonderful support from the corporate brand team. They understand the need of this. And we just want to create conversation. So if we're at an event like uh, KubeCon, and we're there as Outshift by Cisco, we want them to come in and say, 
this looks new, uh, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Rather than saying, Cisco, this is our two networking company. Exactly. Um, so we're really help, uh, excited to help with that mission. And the last part of it too that is part of that is being responsible for thought leadership, ideas, and resources and research in the market. So we partner with Cisco Research very closely, mm -hmm. uh, Cisco open source efforts, and we're really excited to be generous with ideas for the future of technology. Um, a lot of companies are trying to figure out how to grapple with ethical AI, and we're really excited to be, yeah. uh, we know a lot there. We've been working in this space for years. Uh, and so we're really excited to help develop that and provide insights for our customers mm -hmm. into future technology and to help them think about what do I need to care about in five years? And of course, Cisco is already there willing to help us right. with this. It, you know, I, as you're saying, so remembering some conversations I've had this week with like some folks from the OSPO team. Um, I've met with uh, last Cisco Live with some folks at Cisco Research. And so it's, it's really, at least for me, it's really motivating to be able to get all these different groups, and as you said, being able to intentionally call it OutShift by Cisco means that people can come in to a accessible space and talk about all these different components, and again, it's not behind the front of, this is the product we're talking about this week. It's more of, this is what we do. Yes, is there a product? Sure, but we'll get to that in a minute. It's more about shining a light on all this stuff. I mean, to your point, with AIs is an easy example. Like, yeah. embedded in WebEx and half a dozen other products, if not more, have been some form of AI for five to 10 years yes. that most people have no idea that we do. Because Cisco yeah. doesn't often get out there and say, raise a hand and say, this is the thing that we do. And we're starting to do that a little bit more, but we're doing it in the Cisco way, which is we're not just throwing it in someone's face and say, we have this new thing, you need to look at us. It's more of how can we help you in your use case? And I, I, I think that's going to really resonate with everyone. That's so great to hear. Um, I think that one other thing we're really excited about is that, I mean, innovation is happening everywhere at Cisco. Mm -hmm. Every single layer of Cisco is extremely innovative. Um, so we're really focused on that incubation side of it. And if we can help elevate the innovation that's happening across other areas, like if we get into, as we get into AI, and um, uh, the business units like WebEx is working on AI and the security announcements that were made yes. this week, um, we want to help create more buzz around that, help elevate that, and then also help fuel it with additional support that we can provide within that incubation right. side of things. So it's going to be exciting. There's lots more to come. We mm -hmm. hope that customers know to come to look at OutShift to hear what's next and new for, six, for Cisco. Right. So um, that's really the plan. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. I was going to say, too, if you want to check it out, Please. come to OutShift.com. Got all of our portfolio there. We have blog content, webinars a list of events that we'll be at. So we would love to hear from customers. We're looking for design partners and customers to come and tell us what kind of emerging tech that they need. So, awesome. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.